Courtyard closures are still in effect in downtown Orlando due to this unstable scaffolding that it was on the side of the former SunTrust Center. Right now, parts of Pine Street, Church Street, and busy Orange Avenue are closed down. This area is usually very busy on a Friday night. Washington's Liv Johnson shows us how these road closures are affecting businesses. I'm on South Orange Avenue, and as I stood here this evening, I saw dozens of people approach these barricades trying to get to their dinner reservation or maybe trying to find a place to park their car, only to find out this section of downtown is closed once again because of that unstable scaffolding. Not happy at all. Christian Cortez works at the Corona Cigar Lounge on South Orange Avenue and says the tons of scaffolding on the brink of collapse started out as being inconvenient. He wasn't able to find a parking spot to get to work on Wednesday or Thursday, but as several roads have been closed, the problem has become more than inconvenient. This little strip of bars brings in a lot of business, so it has been extremely slow and you know, working at a bar, we make tips, so uh, it has been pretty bad for business. The scaffolding is on the side of the former SunTrust Center and it was put up by Balfour Beatty Construction. According to the city building permit, the company was working on facade renovation. Most people began noticing the bent scaffolding on Thursday. Doug Lambert and his family just moved to Winter Park from Chicago last week. Excited to try a new downtown restaurant, the road closure forced them to cancel their evening plans. We live uh, actually in Winter Park and we were coming out here for dinner reservations and obviously it looks like it's blocked off, so I'm able to do that tonight. In a statement, a spokesperson from Balfour Beatty said, quote, we are continuing to work very closely with local authorities, including the fire department and city of Orlando's building department to maintain the safety and security of the project site and surrounding area. The company says it is working on a plan to take the scaffolding down. Cortez says he hopes it's sooner rather than later. Are you concerned about safety? Uh, yeah, I am actually concerned about safety just because that is pretty close. And uh, I mean, who knows? It could, I mean, God forbid it falls or any accidents happen. So uh, it is kind of scary being super close to it. It is unclear what caused the bent scaffolding or when the dismantling process might be complete, but these closures are expected to last for at least a few more days. In downtown Orlando, I'm Liv Johnson, Rush 2 News.